Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and today I have not only a fantastically sweet and classic dessert for you, or breakfast even, it's a lighter version of it. But the best part is, you're not even really gonna be able to tell. It is absolutely divine. Guys, I'm not monkeying around here. We're making banana bread. And this is the most moist banana bread. Forget about it being dried out. That ain't gonna happen with this recipe. And it's also, like I said, on the lighter side, it's gluten-free banana bread. Yes, sweetheart. Can I have some puzzles? Of course you can. Me too. Keep getting interrupted by the kids. There you go. So guys, we're gonna go right to the Instant Pot and we're going to make some of the easiest, tastiest, moistest, and lightest banana bread you ever had. And let me tell you something, it's so good. A child will eat it. You think I'm kidding? Wait until you watch the end of this video. Prepare to go bananas and let's get going. Hey, what are you doing in my shot? What are you doing in my shot? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna begin with three bananas that are about medium to large in size. You know, some people like their bananas a little medium, some like them bigger, some like them a little bit curved. It doesn't make a difference. This type of banana, but make sure, guys, whatever you do, they have freckles all over them. I'm talking these brown spots like they're about to turn. That's where they're nice and soft to mash. So we're gonna take these bananas and we're gonna peel them and pop them into a bowl. And there we have it, and look, they're so like fragile and tender, they'll just like break in half when you're peeling them out. And you see these dark spots on them? I, when I was a kid, I used to call them boo-boos. They're perfect for this, you want them to be like that. Now I wanna take a potato masher and mash them up. And I'm doing this at my parents' house because I'm visiting them and making them some banana bread. And guys, look at how old school this thing is. Like the decals peeling off. I'm pretty sure I was a kid the last time I saw this potato masher. And we just want to mash all the bananas up in a large mixing bowl and really get in there and mash. We want them to basically become almost like a paste. And just do nice mashing stabs. Take out that anger you have because you couldn't go to that Hall & Oates concert this summer on these bananas. And so when we're looking like a paste, almost like a puree, we are good. Look at that. Now we're gonna crack in three large eggs. All right. A third of a cup of a natural sugar substitute sweetener. I like to use Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Um, erythritol is the ingredient you wanna look for in this. Uh, guys, it's keto approved. Not that this is technically keto because there's bananas in there, but there's also zero carbs, zero glycemic, zero calorie. It's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement, but if you can't find this in your supermarket, you can get it online. It's an amazing sugar substitute. I'm gonna add this in. I'm gonna add in a quarter of a cup of pure maple syrup, which is like a natural sweetener here. Two tablespoons of melted, unsalted butter or ghee. Add that in there. A tablespoon of natural applesauce. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. A teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. A quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now I wanna take a hand mixer into my bowl here and I just wanna blend everything together. All right, and once everything is pretty much blended together, our eggs and everything else, we're good here, and we'll set this aside for a moment. And now comes what ties it all together, our flour. Except we're not using real flour, we're using almond flour. Uh, guys, I got this in Costco. It's a three pound bag for a very fair price, and it's a fantastic substitute for regular all-purpose flour, especially in banana bread. It cuts the carbs down significantly. I'm gonna add three cups of this. All right, there we go, three cups. And now we're gonna take our hand mixer again and blend until combined. Start on a low speed because it's gonna go all over the place otherwise. And we are perfect. It took only about 30 seconds or so of blending. And here we have it, guys, our banana bread batter. That's literally all you have to do basically for this recipe. All right, now let's put it into a pan and begin to bake. So what I need is a six cup bundt pan, and I strongly suggest this Nordic Ware one that you can get on Amazon or really anywhere online. Uh, it has really great nonstick center, and it's the perfect size for your six or eight quart Instant Pot. I wanna take some nonstick cooking spray now and spray it generously all over the pan. Get the edges, the bottom, and don't forget the center. We wanna get this side too, right here. And now I wanna take my batter, which is on the thicker side, and I wanna just add it in there and just disperse it evenly. And now let's just take our mixing spoon or spatula and just even everything out. And all right. And we can do a little tap on the counter to make sure everything's smooth in there, and that looks perfect. Now I wanna cover the top of my bun pan with foil, just kinda of loosely so it's not quite really touching, touching the very top of the pan, but making sure the sides are nice and secure here. 
And then take your finger and just poke a hole boop, right down the center of the little bun pan here, the little hole. That's going to help for steam to pass through it when it comes to pressure. Speaking of which, let's take our trivet that our Instant Pot came with and we're going to rest our bun pan on top and then transfer this to the Instant Pot. Before I do, I want to add in two cups of water. And now I'm going to lower my bun pan on the trivet right into the pot. You see how nice that is? And when it's done, it's gonna be real easy to get out. Except I wanna use some mitts or a dish towel or something because it's gonna be hot. Okay, now let's secure our lid. Make sure that we're in the sealing position. So now I'm gonna come down to the control panel and I'm gonna hit the pressure cook or the manual button depending on your model. And I wanna go for 55 minutes at high pressure. And there we go, that's it. All right, now that the pressure cooking cycle is complete, we're going to allow a 10 minute natural release. That means we do nothing until this starts to count up, which is what happens when a pressure cooking cycle is completed. It's going to count up and when it hits 10, that means 10 minutes have passed and we'll finish it with a quick release. So again, this is called a 10 minute natural release. And those 10 minutes have passed, so let's finish it off with a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so we'll take the lid off. All right, and now I'm going to take my handles with some dish towels, or you can use some oven mitts, and just remove the pan from the pot. And now I'm going to rest my trivet on the counter, and I'm just gonna remove the foil, and oh, look at that. And I wanna let this rest on the counter for about 10 minutes before I transfer it to a plate. Okay, so now that 10 minutes have passed, I'm going to take a spatula or a knife and just kind of just you simply just like break the edges away from the outer edge of the pan. Yeah, don't forget to go kind of a little bit in the middle. Don't cut too deep if you're using a knife, just enough to go around here and loosen it up a bit. Now we're going to take a plate and we're going to put it on top and we're gonna flip it just like this. And you can give the pan a little tap and it should spill right onto our plate. And here it is guys, my banana bread, looking amazing and steaming. Now, my suggestion is to let this cool for at least 30 minutes once it's out of the pan, because in my opinion, banana bread is a little bit better when it's a little bit more cooled than it is hot, all right? So let's wait 30 minutes and we'll try it out. Okay, so 30 minutes of cooling have passed, and now I'm gonna slice into this bread. Here we go, just a little piece like this. And guys, this is going to be incredibly moist and delicious. Look at this banana bread. Oh my gosh. All right, let's give it a try. All right, guys, here it is, and it's nice and cooled. I let this cool, you know, basically a few hours. I like it room temperature. I don't want it like when it's warm. I think banana bread is best when it... Best! Oh my gosh. I think banana bread is best when it's nice and cooled down and room temperature. It all comes together and it's perfect. Let's see. Oh my gosh. First off, it is incredibly moist. The flavors are everything you would want in a banana bread. And I cannot even tell that this was made with almond flour instead of all-purpose flour. Cutting the carbs down significantly and making it gluten-free. Mm. Mm. You know what? Since I'm at my folks' house, I'm gonna have to bring some family over to try this. Let's do that. Here we go! Okay guys, so here's the banana bread. Almond flour banana bread that's on the healthier side, and my little niece, my beautiful princess niece, Stevie, is gonna try it. Stevie, what do you think? Yummy. <laughs> you like it? Yeah? See, if, if, if a kid is gonna eat this, how old are you, Stevie? Three and a half. Three and a half. If a three and a half year old is gonna enjoy this bread, chances are you're gonna enjoy it too. And it's, it's on the lighter side. Well, this is my really beautiful sister who I sort of, I love her, but I also hate her a little bit because like she got the thin jeans and I didn't. Thanks for that. And she's I mean she's gorgeous and she's younger than me and she has kids and I mean seriously. Can I be in the video too? Yes, oh and this is my amazing nephew, her first born, Levi, who is amazing. How old are you, bud? Five and a half. Five and a half. Dude, your head's getting cut off at the top. Six. So my sister is a very big health fanatic. She likes to eat um, very healthy, um, and sometimes she tries to inspire me to do so. She's recently uh, has given up gluten and doesn't eat that at all anymore. So I made a banana bread, Amanda, that has almond flour instead of all-purpose flour. I love almond flour. There is also no typical, like, you know, sometimes you use granulated sugar and brown sugar in a banana bread. Yep. There is, I use maple, pure maple syrup instead of 
brown mm. sugar and I use monk fruit sweetener instead of white sugar. Wow. So try it out and let me know what you think. Healthy. And this is all honest and just be completely honest, seriously. Don't like. I have not tried this yet. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. just like regular <laughs> banana bread. It's just, and it's so moist. I made it. This is really actually. Is. This is actually made mm. a day before, so. This is so. I'm not kidding. I know I'm like on video, but this is really good. So you want the recipe? Delicious, yes. All right, I'll give you the recipe. All right, so there you go. I'm glad you like it. Good. Delicious. It's good. It's like on the lighter oh side. I need another piece. And the thing I love about this is because I made it in the bunt uh, cake style. It looks, it cuts so nicely, and it just, it keeps super moist. Just cover it with some tin foil and leave it out. It's totally fine. My sister wants the whole thing now. She tells me she wants to take the whole thing to go. So there you have it, guys. The most fabulous banana bread you've ever had with so much less guilt involved. Check out PressureLuckCooking.com if you enjoy my recipes because I have a slew of them there. And look, I wrote a cookbook. The Step-by-Step -step Instant Pot Cookbook. It's a number one bestseller internationally as well, believe it or not. Uh, I still can't believe that. And look, I actually spiralize this version of it right here because I feel like, why not? If I could do it, it would be an interesting thing to do. And it makes things really, really great that way. And you could do that at any office store, like a Staples, an Office Max, or even like a FedEx office store. And look, guys, over 750 color photos and all 100 recipes. I don't call it the Step-by-Step -step Instant Pot Cookbook for nothing. It's a fabulous book. Just check it out online. Uh, Facebook.com slash Pressure Luck Cooking and like that page anytime a new recipe drops uh, and tips, humor, stuff like that. And of course, at Pressure Luck or Pressure Luck Cooking on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much again, guys. And again, make this recipe. Go bananas. Have fun. See you soon.